All right, the LA Chargers just caught a huge break. What you're looking at is this week's Thursday and Friday injury report for the LA Chargers. And you can see it's just loaded up. Um, and Joey Bosa out. DJ Chark's trying to get back. We don't have to go through all of it, but it's a lot of starters. And it's like, oh, my goodness. Well, the good news and the break that they catch here is that look at the Arizona Cardinals. Just as big, key players as well, starters. So the injury report for the, the Chargers is really bad. So is the Cardinals. So then now that there's kind of even even playing field. And by the way, if you're new to the channel, we're Detroit Lions fans, but we have this channel talking about um, the only the Chargers because we're Jim Harbaugh fans because we live here in Michigan. And now, now we've just turned this into all Chargers, kind of get an outside perspective of what they're doing. So you can see that the injury report for the Cardinals, not good at all. So when you take this over to kind of the preview of this game, and we're going to get into something else that's huge if you're a Chargers fan, just after I want to look at this real quick. Both the Chargers and the Arizona Cardinals, kind of similar, not similar teams, but kind of similar similar thing right two and three three and two trying to figure out okay let's go fourth here and see kind of where we're at so the storyline of the game according to pff and i agree with this one to pull it up was who can find consistency in prime time so all the eyes are going to be on this game and what's going to come out of it is one of two things chargers win and everyone sees it they move to four and two jim harbaugh schedules manageable look at this or Chargers aren't for real. Arizona just beat them. What's Arizona? Are they good? They've had a couple big wins this year. That's good. what's going to happen as we get outside of this game. Now, here's what's cool about this. Let me show you this. PFF have, has the Chargers 15th in their power rankings. Perfect. If I would have told you five, six, seven weeks in, you're going to be middle-of-the-road team, ex trending upwards you sign me up all day let's go this is exactly what you want if you're a chargers fan you're right in the mix a lot of season left a lot of meaningful games so strength of schedule up to this point 11th you've actually had a harder schedule than you kind of anticipated just looking at the beginning of the year the 11th hardest schedule but here's the big one strength of schedule going forward you're 24th perfect so that average win so they're projecting that your average wins above nine that gets you in the conversation as a wild card. And then here's some just some fun numbers. But, you know, again, they're plugging this into a computer algorithm, popping this out. So take it with a grain of salt. But chance of making the playoffs over 50 percent. And I agree with that. The Chargers are more likely to make the playoffs than they're than not. And chance of winning the Super Bowl. There is a chance. So you're telling me there's a chance. Yes. So, if I'm a Chargers fan, I'm going into this this Cardinals game. We've talked about it. Injuries are going to be a really big deal, but injuries on both sides. So, the, the Cardinals just have shown that they're not able to really stop the run. They're inconsistent offensively. Marvin, Harris, Marvin Harrison's just not really been able to connect with Kyler just yet. So, I like the Chargers in this one. Um. And then, again, the thing that's just huge about this game, why each game is so important, is I kind of keep stealing these because you got Arizona. New Orleans looked horrible um, on Thursday night. Cleveland's one of the worst teams. Tennessee's one of the worst teams. So kind of just steal these. Who cares? Don't apologize. And, uh, and that's why I think the, the Chargers are in a great, great spot. Last thing. One of the things that kind of has come up is Khalil Mack and his run defense. Now, this is huge because he was one of the veterans that the Chargers decided to keep this offseason. Remember, Keenan Allen, Mike Williams go, but the linemen stay. And it's like, what does Mack have left? I don't think this is a good idea. But what's been really cool is that he has played really well defensively, stopping the run. Think of him as a pass rusher, but, man, they've done pretty well stopping the run, and he has been dominant with it. With his PFF run defense grade of 94.8, which is the second highest in his career. 
awesome. Another one, Justin Herbert looked more athletic um, this last game. Really great sign. And lastly, the defense. The defense is really showing up in spots, and that's all you can ask for. This is huge. So Jesse Minter, shout out to him. Love to see what, what's going on there. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Again, this is all about the Chargers. It's kind of given an outside, outsider's perspective, so it could be something that you might want to do. And uh, we'll see all of you on the next one.